So the history of the GIF or GIF goes back to the days of dial-up networks. Your computer would be connected to a device called a modem and it would dial into a computer network. One of the popular commercial networks in the mid-1980s was CompuServe. CompuServe introduced the GIF format for downloading and displaying graphical images. The images were generally small dimensions and the 256 colors that were available was pretty far removed from a true photographic image. But it was all in an effort to shorten download time of these graphics. The original GIF introduced in 1987 was known as 87A. From the start, the GIF supported multiple images within the file, but with an enhanced version known as 89A, you were able to manipulate the animation parameters. In the early 1990s, when the internet web browser was introduced, support for loopable GIFs was born. Thanks to the Netscape web browser, endlessly looping animations were now possible. Early animated GIFs consisted mainly of practical visual indicators such as under construction signs for web pages and animated email buttons. However, as imaging technology became more sophisticated, more complex GIFs were born. In 1996-97, the most cultural iconic animated GIF of the time was the Dancing Baby, also known as Baby Cha-Cha. The 3D rendered Baby Cha-Cha video was popularized by the TV show Ally McBeal. The animated GIF version soon followed. This was the beginning of the animated GIF heyday. Interest in animated GIFs waxed and waned until a rebirth occurred in association with the website Tumblr because of its easy way of sharing images and eventual support for files greater than one megabyte. Tumblr has become a haven for experimenting with complex animated GIFs. A new class of GIF has come on the scene known as the Cinemagraph and popularized by, among other Tumblr websites, If We Don't, Remember Me. So what's the key to a successful animated GIF? The key to an animated GIF is repetition. The key to an animated GIF is repetition. The key to an animated GIF is repetition. Oh, sorry. Anyway, it's taking the essence of a short moment of a video or film and looping that moment. The repetition allows for and encourages analysis. Here's an example. Take this video of a breakdancer performing in front of a crowd. We concentrate on his entertaining style until something unexpected occurs. When we make this into an animated GIF, the repetition intensifies the uneasy humor of the moment. Other examples include this hockey player, this boxing kitten, or the kung fu baby. It even allows for the essence of a mashup video to be intensified, as in this example. The art of the animated GIF, therefore, is somewhere between the still image frozen in time and the complete narrative of a full motion video. It provides a solid middle ground that will keep it relevant for years to come.